so what's up guys my name is Viren and I'm back with another video this video is about macOS Big Sur developer beta 5 so let's start with the build number in beta 4 it was 20A5343i and beta 5 is 20A5354i and also the size of beta 4 was around 3.6 gigs and size of beta 5 7.15 gigs so basically double size update compared to beta 4 now let's begin with the macOS Big Sur developer beta 5 so first of all Big Sur beta 5 currently not supported for iMac Retina 5K 27 inch 2020 model and if you try to install it it will either crash or you will need to reinstall macOS Catalina so for iMac users it would be better to wait and for all other supported macOS devices if your secure boot is set to no security then you might be unable to update to beta 5 so first change in beta 5 is about menu bar icons if you are following my videos then in previous beta version i have talked about menu bar icons that are not clearly visible in light wallpaper it is fixed now earlier the icons were in transparent white color when they were turned off and now the icons are in grey color and visible in light wallpapers as well. Next is about the control center keyboard brightness. You can see the toggle is working fine now. Earlier slider was working no matter toggle set to on or off. So it is fixed now. And also in sound toggle you get an option of audio output. If you have extra speaker connected to bluetooth or wired ones then now you have option to switch between audio output directly from the control center or menu bar sound icon. Next I want to talk about YouTube in Safari browser. In last beta Apple added 4K video quality support but after updating to beta 5 I only see 1080p on the same video which I played in 4K in beta 4. So the thing is you will only get the 4K video quality option if your Mac supports 4K or else like my macbook air it will only show till 1080p next is about the airdrop issue if your sip is enabled then you might be unable to use airdrop by default it is set to enable in macos and you can check it by holding the option key and click on the apple icon select system information and then go to software here you can see if it is enabled or not for me airdrop is working fine but some users it might give a problem next is about the separator in finder it has been updated and looks more clean now next is when you go to system preferences and in general tab the appearance section now have the new wallpaper in background and also the icons are fixed now next is about the spotlight issue if you can't find an application using spotlight then launch the application at least once using the finder this bug was also there in last beta version but for some user it's working fine and for some it's still buggy next i want to talk about two minor bugs which are not fixed yet one is about the music toggle in control center it's still showing incorrect time while playing music and second is about the gray icon text in system preferences icon text color should change from gray to black while turning off dark mode maybe apple will fix this in the next update and lastly some third party application may crash or still unsupported for mac os big Sur. so i would suggest you to wait for the stable update if you are using your mac as a daily driver so this was a quick review about macOS Big Sur developer beta 5. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching and if you are new here then do subscribe for more informational videos like this.